Hello, this is Gabriela Lopez. I have been an educator since 2010. I am currently a fourth grade Spanish immersion teacher at Leonard R. Flynn Elementary. I am happy to talk to you about Unit 4.6, Factors and Multiples. You and your students will start this unit the second week of February and go up to the first week of March. The big idea of this unit is that numbers can be classified as prime or composite and can be expressed as a product of their factors or as a factor of their multiples. For example, the number 7 is prime because it only has two factors, 1 and itself. It is the product of 1 times 7. It is also a factor of its multiple, the number 21. On the other hand, the number 9 is composite because it has more than two factors, 1, 3, and 9. Nevertheless, it is also the product of its factors as well as the factor of its multiple, the number 27. The number 1 is neither prime nor composite because it only has one factor, itself. It is the only natural number with this characteristic. It is important that students make connections between math they have already learned and math they are going to learn. Prior to fourth grade, students learn skip counting by numbers such as fives, tens, and hundreds. They learned how to represent multiplication as an array and how to think of division as a problem with missing factors. Fourth graders extended their understanding of multiplication as the area of a rectangle whose side dimensions are the factors of the area. They learned that division problems can be represented as area problems with an unknown side length. Later in fourth grade, students will convert measurements from larger units to smaller ones using the concept of multiples. Fifth graders will continue to use factors and multiples as they learn to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. They also will use them when calculating volume of rectangular prisms and converting measurements in different sized units. Sixth graders will use factors and multiples to find greatest common factors and least common multiples. Students start this unit using what they already know about factors, such as in this multiplication table, to identify how many factors a number has. This leads to defining prime and composite numbers. They then explore what they already know about multiples by creating lists to identify shared multiples and patterns in the list themselves. Finally, students apply the concept of multiples as they use the ancient tool known as Aristosthenes sieve to identify all prime numbers between 1 and 100. One example of how students will be thinking about factors can be seen in this unit's expert task, Peter and Veronica. In this task, students are asked to evaluate some statements made about numbers as being factors, multiples, prime, and or composite. This lesson can be done with the paper version, but it is also available as a Google presentation in the online unit folder. When you sit down with your colleagues to preview this unit, I recommend you look through this unit's re-engagement activities at the end of Lesson Series 3. You may have noticed that each math unit this year has one day of re-engagement activities designed to be used as centers or math menus. This unit's re-engagement activities include teacher-guided centers, games and extensions from earlier lessons that allow students the opportunity to deepen their understanding of factors and multiples. By the end of this unit, students will have deepened their understanding of multiplication by distinguishing the difference between factors and multiples, as well as to define prime and composite numbers. These are key number concepts that they will use in Unit 4.7 measurement, as well as in future grades. As always, if you have feedback, please go to sfusdmath.org and click on the Curriculum Feedback button. Have fun with this unit and thank you for all that you do. We will see you again in March for Unit 4.7 Measurement.